everybody, welcome to another uh, creation geek tutorial where we focus on landscape editing. Uh, how fun. So, um, we're just gonna, I already have a world space one ESP for just testing it out. But we'll just uh, not load that up because, you know, it, we're gonna create it from scratch. So, we're gonna go ahead and load in all of our everything and it's gonna load up and I'll see when it's done. Uh oh, oh, there we go. Alright, perfect. So, now we can go ahead and once we're done, we'll click save to create a new ESP file. And we're gonna go ahead and overwrite World Space 1. Great, okay. So, uh, first thing I wanna do is go to World Spaces by clicking on World right here at the top, um, and then clicking on World Spaces. And you'll have all these world spaces. You like the Lucky 38 world, the wasteland, and we'll just uh, click here, anywhere actually. You can just click on anything, and I'll click new. And you'll have a new form editor ID. We'll name this just world world space one. Perfect. And the name will just be world space. And the parent world space is like what terrain, what sky you want. We'll just set as the default. And music is what music plays when you first enter the place. We don't I really care about that. And default land height is where we can go ahead and edit the land height and the water height. So to change the water height, which is what we're gonna do, we'll do minus twenty forty eight dot one two three four. Perfect. So now the water height and the land height are the exact same. So we'll press OK, and the world space will be created. So we go down to world space one, we double click on it, and there we go. Now we just see terrain, which is great. We don't see any of that black splotch that usually comes towards us. And there you go, that's how you create a world space, but um, if you want to go a little more in depth, we're going to go a little more in depth because, you know, I want like mountains and stuff like that and items, um, which we can cover in a different tutorial, but we're going to be focusing on landscape editing. So we'll click on the landscape edit setting. Great. So now we have these settings uh, and we have this like little red circle here. Well, this is the radius of what your landscape will change to and you can edit the radius by going the landscape settings and edit radius. But if you edit the radius, things might get a little funky uh, just because they start like doing weird stuff. So we want to go to where we are right here and we'll create like some some hills, some like. And you can also change the style of stuff too. Oh, and then that's just gonna crash. But uh, that is weird. That doesn't usually happen. But. Uh, you can edit it and it'll crash sometimes. It crashes all the time. Great, okay. So, uh, that's why you save. So, um, I'm gonna load the other one, um, the template one that we had, and I'll see you in New Vegas. Great job, okay, so now we're inside New Vegas. We're gonna go ahead and hit play. And uh, it's gonna load up. New Vegas is gonna load up, and we selected the data file. So we'll do exactly what we did last time in our NPC tutorial. We'll COC and then what art we then just sell. And I just use I usually name it play just for easy stuff. All right, hardcore mode. No, great. Solid project. Great. Okay. Oh. Uh, where's our dead end CR trooper <laughs> that we put? Oh, yep, of course. The, oh, wait, he's still alive? How? Okay, so yeah, we fell to our death, uh, and that is it. Um, but you can usually reset the spawn point to where, uh, you can always reset the spawn point. I, I set it to like high up in the air, so. Um, I hope you guys did like this video and subscribe for more Gek tutorials, because I will probably make more anyway, so you don't even have to. Uh, but yeah.
go ahead and subscribe uh, and have a great day.